What's up my five former family? Hopefully you can hear me because I know it's a little windy over here. I want to talk to you guys about something and I came to the park to talk to you all about it. Usually I talk about things in my car or inside my house, but I was like, you know what? I wanna change up the scenery. So I decided to come to the park. I have something to confess to you guys and you already know because you see the thumbnail and you also see the title of the video. I need to confess something. I need to get something off my chest. <sighs> I'm losing my hair and this sucks and I'm only 23 years old and I'm losing my hair already and I knew this was eventually going to happen because this baldness runs in my dad's side of the family and when I was a kid of course you couldn't see it so the more I kept aging the more it was noticeable when my baldness was starting to show I think I was 21 years old now only a few people know about this sometimes me and Brandon and John we joke around about it you know be like oh you're getting bald whatever blah 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 we make fun of each other sometimes but not seriously but it gets to me a little bit because I'm like yeah you're right I'm getting bald and it sucks like it's so embarrassing I don't want anyone to notice it you know because I don't want people to make fun of me I don't want people to think I'm ugly and sometimes I still do feel like that when I'm walking I keep like my head neutral with my body you know I don't go like this you know because if I go like this you'll be able to see the baldness right here when I'm sitting down the exact same thing I don't keep my head like this I just keep it neutral with my body because I don't want people to notice it that's why I used to dye my hair blonde before if you haven't seen how I looked at my blonde hair I'll post a picture right now The only reason why I dye blonde is because it will like blend in with my scalp. Because when I have this color hair, it's more noticeable. But when I dye it blonde, you couldn't really tell. So that's why I dyed it blonde. I wasn't going for a new look. And I honestly didn't really like it on me. I kept telling myself, I like it, I like it, but I didn't. You know, I forced myself to like it so that way people won't see my baldness. So that way I don't see my baldness. But then later on, I was like, you know what? Screw it, like I am starting to not really care anymore so I went back to my natural hair color. So now I cut my hair short and I do it this hairstyle because in this hairstyle you can't really tell. When it's really long, that's when you can tell like I'm really getting bald. So that's why I wear a lot of hats when I'm at the gym. Cause at the gym, the lighting's really good over there. So you can see my baldness more right there. So that's why I wear a lot of hats. And I went to the gym today so I told my brother to record a clip of my hair on my phone. I forgot to bring my camera. So he recorded it, so I'm going to play the video right now. So that's with good lighting at the gym. And I'm also gonna show you right now. Hopefully the camera is hitting the spot, but it's on this area right here. I've been wanting to make a video about this. It's just, I was always embarrassed. I was always scared what other people are gonna think, especially girls out there. You know, I'm an honest person, so if I meet someone, I'll tell them whatever they wanna know. But I would never tell them about my baldness because I feel like if I tell them about my baldness, they wouldn't want me anymore, you know, they'll just walk away. So I was like, you know what, I don't care anymore. I'm just gonna tell everyone, why not? Because I know there's other people out there who are dealing with the same issue as me, and you know, they're probably embarrassed too. You know, they, they're, they're scared to tell people, but I'm doing it, so you should do it too. On your time though, it took me a while to confess about this. Just remember, no one is not perfect, so just tell yourself this. When you wake up in the morning, go look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm a good looking person. And if no one doesn't want to be with me, it's because I'm too good for them. It's not because you're cocky. It's just you need to build up your confidence, you know? That's how I build up my confidence. You know, because I used to be overweight, I used to break out a lot. So sometimes I felt ugly, but I'm like, you know what? I came a long way. And I shared my story about that when I used to be overweight and when I used to break out. So I was like, you know what? I want to share my baldness too because I want to show people that I'm not scared anymore, that I'm not embarrassed. Like, you can say whatever you want. I'm, I love myself. Like, I, I love how the way I look. You either like it or you don't like it. In the future, I do plan on getting surgery. Good thing I can get this problem fixed. It's really scared to make this video, but I actually feel so much better, you know, confessing about this. And sometimes it's good to confess about something to someone because, you know, sometimes it, it can get you like really stressed. It can get you like really depressed when you have something deep inside of you and you want to talk to someone about it. Just go ahead and talk to someone. I'm not saying go tell everyone like what I'm doing. Just talk to someone that you can trust and you'll feel a little bit better. But just always remember that you are a great person, that you're a beautiful girl, that you're a good looking dude. Love yourself and that's all that matters. Remember, I used to be overweight. I used to have acne. I'm gonna show some pictures. I, I know I have new subscribers, so I'm gonna show some pictures right now. You see, I've been through it all. I'm not perfect. I know I can get through it. I know I'm strong enough to get through anything. You should always tell yourself that too. I really hope this video touch any of you guys. And if it did inspire any of you, I'm happy. 
That's, that's why I do this. I am happy. All I want to do is inspire and motivate people. I really hope this video does touch someone's heart. And just know that I am here for you. If you want to talk about anything, please slide into my DMs. Not like that. Email me. Text me if you know me personally. But that's all I want to talk to you guys about. I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And we are so close to hitting 400 subscribers. We have 392. We are getting there, guys. Thank you so much for supporting me, for showing me love. I love you all. So I'll see you all in the next video.